guys welcome back to the channel dana ray here thank you guys for coming back for another video um like comment and subscribe if you are liking the content here um we are going to kind of go on into a different direction for a moment with my page less about the past less about negative narcissistic toxic whatever like less about that and more about life now like my happiness my joy like how to get there and not so much about a year ago because we not there no more so come with come with me and if you not here then just go look at the old videos because i'm just not in that space anymore um so i just kind of want to come in a lighter way with my video. So just bear with me. I hope you guys enjoy the newness that I'm gonna be doing on my on my page here, my channel. Um, and like I said, like, comment, subscribe, send your friends over, do it how you do it. I love you guys and thank you for coming back. So today we're going to be talking about not forcing things not forcing relationships, not forcing friendships, not forcing jobs, not forcing whatever it is that is that you're trying to do or accomplish. We're going to stop forcing things in 2021 because from experience, anything that you have to force or manipulate to happen is probably not in God's will for your life at that time, or it may not be in God's will for your life at all. And my goal is that we all live in God's perfect will. Like we know from my life, your life, everybody's life, that we mess up, we get off of track with his will, we forget that he's watching, we forget that he cares, we forget that he even exists. So that's okay. Like, But now you are still living, that means you still have the chance to get in line with what he wants for your life. So I want all of us to stop wasting time with people and things that are just taking all of this energy out of us that are not like not a part of his will obviously otherwise it wouldn't be so hard like it doesn't have to be a struggle to be a christian it doesn't have to be a struggle to have a good life like there's a difference between being a hard worker and and wasting your energy on things that are not reciprocating or things that are not what you're supposed to be doing. Because if it's something that you're supposed to be doing, it's going to be peaceful. You're going to have fruit from it, whether it be financial fruit, whether it be like success fruit, like whatever, like you're going to know when you're doing things that are in the will of God because you're going to feel differently about it. You're not going to have to force anything. <laughs> when you're in God's will, there is so much peace. Okay? So the number one thing, because y'all know my page is mostly about relationships, we need to stop forcing relations, relationships. Stop forcing people to try to be a part of our lives. If people don't treat us how we should be treated, if they don't do the things that we feel like we deserve, let them go. You don't have to tell a person multiple, multiple times that they should call you at a certain time. You don't have to tell a person multiple, multiple times that you want to go on a certain type of date or a date in general. You don't have to tell a person multiple times that, you know, you want something simple from them so that it will make you guys' this relationship better. If that person is not responding in a way that makes you happy, then let them go. People aren't going to leave if they are getting everything that they desire from you without having to give anything because they know you're not going to leave. So stop. Stop forcing relationships. Because if you're forcing it, 
You know you're forcing it. And it's not in God's will. That means that that person doesn't value you. You don't want to be in relationship with anyone that doesn't value you. Friendship, I don't care. Family ship, you don't want to be around people who don't value you. And the reason why we stay in relationships with people who don't value us is because we don't see the value in ourselves. And we are supposed to get that value from God. So it starts with the lack of relationship with God, lack of knowing who he says you are, and then you don't know who you say you are. So then you allow other people to tell you who you are and they have no idea who they are or they wouldn't be treating you this way or wasting your time. So it's just a disaster. It's just, once again, a whole bunch of broken people trying to be in relationship with other broken people who do not know themselves. And then you end up wasting a whole lot of time with someone who never saw you your value. You don't have to convince people who are supposed to be in your life, who are supposed to be in your destiny of your value. And when people see your value, they respond accordingly. The most powerful thing you can do is walk away from people who do not see your value. You got to stop worrying about hurting people's feelings, how they're going to live without you. Obviously, they don't care enough because they're not doing whatever it is they need to do to keep you around or to keep you happy. I don't want, I wouldn't say keep you around because we stay for way longer in situations that we definitely should not ever stay for. But yeah, like we got to stop it. Stop forcing it. Stop forcing relationships with men. If he don't call you, then that's, that's rejection. And that's fine because rejection is honestly God's protection. If he ghosts you, bye. That means he wasn't the one. Keep it moving. Like stop being so personally offended because God can't send you the person that's supposed to be in that spot if you are holding that spot up by someone who's not supposed to be there. So say goodbye to toxic people, toxic friendships, and I, I'll say, let me, I mean, I, I told y'all we wasn't going to talk about toxic people, but that's the word for it. People who don't value you end up sucking the, the life out of you and you end up with nothing every time. You end up feeling like you put so much energy into this friendship, so much energy into this person, and they just walked away from you. And then you end up feeling like you're less of a person because that person walked away. That, that should not define you. That means that you don't have enough value within yourself because with if you value yourself you can stand alone you don't need anybody but you and god when you fully value yourself and when you fully know who he told you you are and you fully believe that okay what more can i say about this um Stop forcing jobs to like stop forcing. If the job is for you and you did everything that you were supposed to do that God told you to do to prepare for that position, you applied, you gave it your best shot. That's all you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to have to manipulate things. You're not, to, not supposed to have to force, kick doors down to get the promises that God has for you. It do, they do not require that. They require you to have hard, to work hard, do what it is that is required, and wait. So if you're forcing yourself into a field or you're having to manipulate your value and change yourself and just stay up all night because, oh my God, I hope they call me back and you have anxiety and you cannot rest and have peace, then that, that job is not yours. It's not in God's will that you go there. So don't go. Sometimes we got to stay for longer than we want to stay just so we can be in God's perfect will. You never know what he is keeping and holding for you. You never know what he is manipulating or, or doing to prepare the place for you. And you never know where else he's trying to take you when your eyes are on something else that's not from him. 
So stop forcing it because when you're forcing things and you get into a job that's not for you, then you're wasting time not being in the promise the promise that God has for you where you can see everything that he wants you to do, where you can have everything that he's promised you in his word. You have to be in the right place at the right time to get the fulfillment. And if you're over here and he got your promise over there, then you can't see your promise over there. You can't get to it. It's so important, y'all that we are in his will, doing the things that he said, working the jobs that he told us to work. I don't care if it's not the job that you like right now. If God says stay, you stay because he's gonna have something greater and bigger than you could ever imagine if you would just wait on him and do what he is telling you to do. I can use a personal example. So I've been trying to do travel x-ray since about May of 2020. And the actual job that I ended up in did not come until December of 2020. I waited. I, I had some jobs that came along that I thought, you know, were supposed to be the one. And then they ended up not being the the right um time as far as like the right length of a contract like it was way more money than i ever thought that i could make each week but the the contract length was like two to four weeks i had anxiety like out the, i could not sleep those nights that i thought i was going to get that job like like that i was waiting to find out you know whether i was going to get an offer i had no peace and even though the, those people made me an offer, I, I did not accept the job because I felt in my spirit that this wasn't from God. And it wasn't, it was from the enemy. So if I would have taken that job, then I wouldn't be where I am now. I wouldn't be where I'm supposed to be, be now. Smack in the middle of God's will for my life. So I waited. And then, I, and then a couple months later, I turned down another job in another location, specifically because the Lord had not shown me anything about this state. I, I was so, because I had been outside of God's will for so long, I was determined to not go in the wrong direction. I'm like, Lord, you have to show me something if you want me to take this job. Like, you're going to have to show me something that he didn't show me anything. So I was like, you know what? Nope. I passed that one up too. And I didn't really have a whole lot of anxiety or restless nights about that. I honestly had peace about that, about denying that job. Like I asked the lady to give me some time to think about it, but I knew, I knew that that wasn't it either. And then when this job finally came along, when I wasn't even looking for it, when it happens to be in a place that I have always wanted to go to, but never even thought that God was even like listening to my little desires. And here I am, here I am in freaking California in the winter. And I hate winter and I don't, now I don't have to feel winter. Like everything worked out. And I'll tell you guys about all of that in another in another video about my faith journey. But everything lined up. I was not afraid. I did not have any anxiety. All I could do was cry and thank God for finally being in his will. For knowing that this was what he wanted me to do at this time. Like his plan, his plans are so perfect so perfect so and i will tell you guys later on to how to hear from him how to know when it is him like but first we have to stop holding on to things and people using all of this energy excess energy into things and people that are not in the will of god you don't have to fight for what's in his will, what he's already told you belongs to you, you don't have to fight for it. 
You don't have to go outside your way to get it. You don't have to lie to get it. You don't have to manipulate nothing to get it. You don't have to like be homeless to get it. You don't have to do all these things to get the things of God. If you're doing those things, they're, they're probably not from him. They're probably some selfish desire, but we have to learn to separate our selfish desires from the enemy's plan, from God's perfect will. Those are three separate things. Which one do you want to be on? I choose to be in God's perfect will, whatever that, whatever that means. Because I know if I'm in his will, he got me. So stop forcing it, y'all. Stop forcing relationships that you know. You know he ain't the one. You know that you have given him enough time to hear you, to call you, to do the things that you deserve. You know it. Him, her, whoever, you know it. Stop wasting time. It don't take, it don't take that long for, Lord, for the Lord for you to realize, for him to realize your worth. You're worth more than that. So stop wasting time. Stop wasting time in endeavors and entrepreneurships and all of this stuff that you that you seen Pookie over there do and, and she looks successful. So you're going to try to do it too when you know God ain't told you nothing about that. You're probably not even good at it. He ain't going to have you striving and, and going broke and stuff trying to do anything that he called you to do. Yes, he is a provider, but he is also a God of order. And he is not going to have you out here begging if you in his will because he's going to provide if you in his will, he gonna provide. You ain't got to worry about none of that. You ain't gonna be having all this anxiety, all this stuff. No, there's a difference between an attack from the enemy and an attack you brought on yourself because you outside of the will of God. There's a there's absolutely a difference between that. We will talk about all that stuff too. Stop forcing it. Friendships, if they wanna walk, let them walk. If you're putting more into the friendship than you're receiving, you've you talked to this person about it, you told them how it makes you feel, they decide not to change, let them go. Family members, <laughs> let them go. Stop being held back by people who ain't going where you're going. Learn to be alone, learn to be by yourself. Let it go, stop forcing it. Some people say blood thickening in water, that's fine, but if the blood ain't, the blood of Jesus, <laughs> like, no, nah, I'm playing. But if the blood ain't ain't treating you right, it's abusive or toxic or or manipulative or just ain't going nowhere, then baby, you have to let that blood go too. We got to start being a little bit more selfish because all of this caring about other people, all of this trying to protect other people and taking care of other people, in the meantime, we're losing ourselves and we're not taking care of ourselves. And then you look up and you're 40 and you're not where you're supposed to be or want to be in life. Because you forced it. So, that's all I got to say today. I don't know, this video might sound crazy. It might not really be in a whole lot of order. But I want us in 2021 to stop forcing things that are not from God. I love you guys. Thank you guys for coming to my page. Thank you guys for liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. And let me know what other kind of content or what other questions you have about like faith and my journey and just a journey with Christ in general. Then I'll get to like research some things if I don't already know the answer. And I'll definitely do videos helping to answer you guys' questions. I love you guys and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye. I forgot something. I forgot one more thing. I wrote down, life is too short to see how this goes. If you're a certain age and you've had your share of toxic or unsuccessful relationships, life is too short to see how it goes. You need to, before you get caught up with people, you need to seek the Lord about these people. Seek the Lord about jobs. Seek the Lord about relationships. Seek the Lord about people. Seek the Lord about financial endeavors that you're going to do. Seek him first. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these things shall be added unto you. All other things, everything else, 
you won't have to worry about if you go to the Lord first because he will direct you and put you on the right path. My favorite Bible verse of all times, Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all of thine heart. Lean not into your own understanding in all of your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path in all of your ways every decision you make acknowledge god he will direct your path i promise you i promise you i love you guys bye